the Articles of Faith. This is the Articles of Faith which should be adopted by the Baptist churches at the time of organization. It says right here that the first one is the scripture. It makes sense, right? This is my Bible. It said, we believe that the Holy Bible was written by men divinely inspired and is a perfect treasure of heavenly instruction that it has God for its author, salvation, and for its end, mm -hmm. and truth without any mixture of error, for it matters, that it reveals the principle by which God will judge us, and therefore is, and shall re remain to the end of the world, that the true center of Christian union and supreme standard by which all human conduct, creed, and opinion shall be tried. Uh, we always know that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Mm -hmm. So we know that the, the Holy Scripture, and this book would always, to me, would always be the number one seller. Will somebody read the next one? The uh, true God. Any question about the uh, scripture? Isn't it amazing how the article first started out with the book? <laughs> it started out with the book. Yes, it makes sense, right? It started out with the book. Okay. And uh, do everybody remember what the first scripture that, the first Bible scripture that they learned? Or was it the Lord's Prayer? Or was it Thou shalt not kill? Or Jesus will. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody remember the first one? <laughs> you got some of the real they gave us on. Okay, John three sixteen. Okay. And what if I know everybody had to repeat the Lord and my shepherd, I shall not woe. <laughs> that know what that's something in which other body when they said that you can't remember a Bible scripture. How many of people have even now even read the uh, Lord, the twenty thirds? You know what I mean. But you started, you just go right on through the Lord of my shepherd, and I shall not want to let me die. Okay. okay. Tim, what was yours? It was twenty-three. What was it? The Lord is my shepherd. The whole thing, because before I came to Christ, I was in the Catholic faith. Okay. And I was an altar boy, and I used to hold the Bible to the to the priest, and he used to read the scripture. Okay. So that was. What was yours? Two and two. Mine was uh, so the Daniel taught on the two. I was at third grade. I never forget Mrs. Mrs. Sands. One year she was with Sands. Just got married. Year she was a hard. So we had to keep her with her name. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I told you that there was a hundred one. You know what I mean? And the way she read it was that's when you could read scripture in, in uh, class. And you actually take time out to pray. Mm -hmm. And now we tell our, tell our children that nobody can stop us from praying. Mm -hmm. You just bow your head and say our prayer. And, and isn't that amazing that you have to really tell our children that nobody, nobody can stop you from praying. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Well, they get mad at me if I just, I say just bow your head, you know what I mean? The Lord knows, the Lord understands. <laughs> Somebody read number two, the true God. I have a question. What? what oh, I'm sorry, man. Please forgive me. We're on the articles of faith. We're in the back of our hymn book, 606. And we're going to hymn book. We're going to use them. Okay. I know you all did not you didn't want me to try to carry a tune. So, so <laughs> 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 we're going to have that. So that I, Wilbur said a long time ago, Dick and Greg, you can't even carry a tune in a bucket. I didn't thank you very much. You got it, 606. Articles of Faith and page 606. Somebody read number two. We believe the scriptures teach that there is one and only one living and true God, an infinite, intelligent spirit whose name is Jehovah, the maker and the supreme ruler of heaven and earth, inexpressibly glorious in holiness and worthy of all possible honor confidence and love that in the unity of the Godhead there are three persons, the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost, equal in every divine perfection and executing distinct but harmonious offices in the great work of redemption. Any questions? 
question was about that. We all understand about the three God is, right? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? And it's important, people, they were saying, but the Holy Spirit was not there from the beginning, but they were all three was there from the beginning. When Jesus said, I would go and send you a comforter, mm -hmm. you know, but in, in, in the beginning, they were all, they were all there. In, in the question, God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But with this is the true God. We're just going over the article of faith. I didn't know what, uh, as Sister Real was saying, no, Bible study was not counseled, and that we didn't get no word and whatever. You know what I mean? But I love this time right here where we can just come together and uh, fellowship and uh, talk to one another. This is the talk to one another and fellowship with uh, one another. Now we're going to, number three, somebody read number three, the fall of man. We believe the scriptures teach that man was created in holiness under the law of his maker. But by voluntary transgression, transgressions fell far from their holy and happy state, and consequences of which all mankind are now sinners, not by constraint, but choice, being by nature utterly void of that holiness required by the law of God, positively inclined to evil, and therefore under the condemnation to eternal ruin, without defense or excuse. Without defense or excuse. It is saying that, it is amazing that number three, it said the fall of man. It go back to number one, it said, we believe the scriptures teaches us. It go back to number one, okay? And then it also says in there, uh, which all mankind are now sinners, not by constraint, but by what? C-H-O-I-C-E, but by choice, and also by that free will, okay? Being by nature utterly void of the holiness required by the law of God, positively inclined to positively inclined to evil, and therefore under the just condemnation to eternal ruin without defense or excuse. With evil, there is no excuse. We want to make an excuse, you know. I'm still uh, praying over for the loss of the family, for the woman who killed who shot through the door and killed that, you know, shot or whatever, you know what I mean? Just, just pure, pure evil, you know what I mean? But uh, we pray for the family as we continue to understand that sin is prevalent, it's going to be around us, and we just need to be prayed up every day. How many of you pray, uh, meditate in the morning before you get out of bed? Or you pray in the morning? And you find it's rewarding, isn't it? Yes. You know, I, I feel guilty when, when I don't do it. I said, Lord, please forgive me. You know, you know, I, went up, you know, and then I, I said, you know, I send, send one up real quick. I said, you know, <laughs> I'm going get there. So, uh, but, it, but it's nice to start your day off, you know what I mean? With a, a, a moment with the, with the, our our Savior, our God and Master, you know what I mean. And sometimes the Lord just thank you for waking me up this morning. Amen. I used to pray, Lord, Amen. thank you for getting out of bed. Is it brother great? You you better pray the Lord open your eyes. You can get out of bed so you know what you're doing or know what you're doing and stuff. But those are the I call it the simple things that we just need to what to say. Tell the Lord thank you. Amen. Just 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 tell him thank you for all. So we understand about the fall of man and we, we understand about uh, 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 Adam and what, what he did and you, you heard me in the story of it. So we, and I, I said, and God made man in his own image. And uh, I heard a prayer once by a young lady, she was saying, mother God or whatever, but I just said, say what? You know what I mean? And, uh, and I, I don't know where she was coming from, the creation, but she referred to God as a woman. And he said that he made, made man in, in, in his own image and stuff. Number four, somebody read the, the way of salvation. We're on 606, we're reading the Articles of Faith, uh, which should be adopted by the Baptist Church at the time of organization. Go ahead. 
We believe the scriptures teach the salvation of sinners and woe of grace to the, to the meritory offices of the Son of God, who by the appointment of the Father freely took upon him and nature, yet without sin honored the divine law by his personal obedience and by his death made a full atonement for Amen. our sins. But having risen from the dead, he is now enthroned in heaven and unites him in his wonderful person, the tenderest sympathies and divine perfections. He is very, he is, he is in every way qualified to be a suitable, a compassionate, and an all sufficient Savior. Amen. The way of salvation. And that, what is that telling us? That we have to believe in what? As Christian, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Amen. I've heard some people say, and uh, and you hear the crowd say sometimes, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm taking to the cross. We don't get there. We get there. And some people feel that they have a really heard that sermon as Baptist to you go to the cross or whatever, you know. And uh, but we as believers understand by what his death, burial, and his resurrection. And I uh, and as, as we continue to grow with the way of salvation and justification, uh, as we continue to grow, how many of you talk to have talked to some people? Who said that if I don't believe in women preachers? You hear y'all hear that? I serve a God that when he rose, that when his son rose from the dead, on the day of resurrection, the disciples were in the room. There was a lady at, lady at the tomb named Mary. And she had to run and, run and tell them. So I'm saying if my God, Hmm. My Jesus mm -hmm. can talk to M A R Y. Who am I to judge that when the Lord says that I'm going to have a, a woman today going to deliver the message? Mm -hmm. That shows us about our growth, mm -hmm. you know. And when we had some uh, that were the same when we ordained our three here, you know what I mean? Because Church St. Matthew has been a traditionist for years and years. But through our growth, through our beloved pastor and stuff, whatever, we're not ashamed to say that we have three ministers on our staff now with uh, Sister Covington, Sister Capehart, and Sister John. You know what I mean? Because the word can be delivered mm -hmm. by the anointed one. Amen. Through the child, through, 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 the, through a child can deliver the word. We had a powerful prayer this Sunday about, wasn't that true, Brian? Wasn't that the divine? Wasn't that our one uh, sister? Mm -hmm. Right? You know what I mean? So what we got to do, they said, that's why he gave us ears mm -hmm. to listen. Okay. I just put that in there to let us know <clears throat> as we continue to grow together. And how we got to be very careful how we get caught up in tradition and don't know why. I heard a rumor that the half of the McCoy, they're going to start feuding because that it goes generation generation. They forget what, forget what they were feuding for. And y'all y'all know what I will start over? A pig. <laughs> okay. But that's, that's the way of, 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 of set salvation. And uh, <clears throat> it's amazing how we understand about the way of salvation. It just hurts me sometimes when people wear the crucifix or whatever and don't know what they're wearing it for. They have no no meaning of what it means, you know, and they wear, wear it all over, you know. But, um, but um, a compassion and all sufficient Savior. Justification. Somebody read justification. And for, for, before you go that, what is, as we learn through the article of faith, have you noticed all of it begins with a what? We. we. Thank you. We believe. We believe. That's why one of the most, uh, before you read that, 
okay, before you read that, I want to say that the justification that one of the best uh, Bible studies I had when the pastor was reading this, he said, having been led by the belief in the Spirit, that's a lie. We are gave therefore by the aid of the Holy Spirit. No, we ain't doing that or whatever. I said, well, they see for us that should we just leave up there and take it down. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that we picked up on that. It says that we as baptized believers, this is what we believe in the article of faith. Okay. Could somebody go and finish reading the justification? We believe the scriptures teach that the great gospel blessing which Christ secures to such as believe in him and justification. That justification includes the pardon of sin and the promise of eternal life on principles of righteousness. That it is bestowed not in consideration of any work of righteousness which we have done, but solely through faith in the Redeemer's blood, by virtue of which faith his perfect perfect righteousness is freely inputted to the to to us of God. That it it brings us into a state of most blessed peace and favor with God and secures every other blessing needful for time and eternity. Amen. And secure every other blessing needful for time and eternity. Justification. What would be a good um, answer for justification? She just read it. What is it? That we believe in him in justification. That justification includes what? The pardon of sin. The promise of eternal life. Amen. And principles of, of righteousness. righteousness that is bestowed upon us. Not nothing that we've done. Amen. And he can, he can forgive us for the pardon of our sin uh, as we continue what to forgive one another and we understand and practice the principles, the principles of righteousness that is restored upon us. Any question at this time as we continue to move forward? Thank you for your participation. Be one eye. They call it number six. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure my age right now. <laughs> I'll read some of Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Somebody read now. Uh, the freeness of salvation. So we done went through the, the way of salvation, the justification, the part. Now we're talking about the freeness, the freeness of salvation. It said we believe. Somebody? We think they're selling us. It's made that the salvation is made future all by the gospel. That is immediate duty of all of them. That what? That we accept it. You can accept it or reject it. Am I right? Amen. And the freedness of it. Okay? And the greatest. And it says, and that nothing prevents the salvation of the greatest sinner on earth, but his own, hello, you pray with it, and voluntarily rejection of the what? The rejection of the gospel. When somebody rejects the gospel, what should we do? Pray for them, whatever. Doesn't the Bible say something about white people? Say the testimony of your feet and keep it as a testimony. Say it again. Mm -hmm. Say the testimony of your feet and keep it as a testimony. 
So we all understand that that's right in the power of prayer. You know, our freedom of choice, our free will, you know, as we get up for midweek service, you all didn't have to be here. You didn't know whether the pastor was going to be here or not, but you found enough robbery to come out to the house of prayer for that solitude, for that friendship, for that fellowship, you know, for, for one another. And uh, that was scares a lot of people that I have this freedom of choice, this free will, you know what I mean, and, I, and we give God all the, all the glory and the praise for it, you know. Any questions? Now number number seven, the generation. Somebody. We believe that the scriptures teach that in order to be saved, sinners must be regenerated or born again. The regeneration consists in giving a holy disposition to the mind that it is effected in a manner above our comprehension by the power of the Holy Spirit in connection with divine truth. So as to secure our voluntary obedience to the gospel and that its proper evidence appears in the holy fruits of repentance and faith and newness of life. We've all been there, haven't we? Yes. Think about it. Think about the growth that you had when you first were baptized. Think about that. You continue to come to church, come to Bible study, study God's word, how you have regenerated your faith, generated your spirit, and you continue as well to, to uh, read, but the Bible scripture says, re renew in me, or what? That I may not do what? Sin against Amen. So that's what the, the regeneration is. Anybody else want to talk on that subject? I like the last verse when it says that, and that is the proper evidence appears in the holy fruits of repentance and faith and the newness of life. What would be the newness of life? It's amazing <clears throat> as you continue to read this at verse uh, number seven and number eight, it picks up with repentance and faith and it says repentance and faith. Uh, somebody read that, if you would, a volunteer. We believe the scriptures. Go ahead, go ahead. Welcome back.
sacrificial Savior. You know, it's amazing as you read that, <clears throat> that as we go through with the number seven, the number of completion, that it said the repentance and faith. And we already know that each of these articles believe, start out with believe. But we as Christians know that what? We have to believe. After that, we have to have the faith. We must obey, you know, and through it all, that we will have is what? God's grace is sufficient. If you, no matter how you put them, you put faith first, you put uh, the belief first, but you have to believe that there is a God. We believe that the scripture teaches that in order to be saved, sinners must be regenerated or born again. That regeneration consists in giving a holy deposition to the mind that is, is effected in a manner above our comprehension by the power of what? Holy Spirit. What did that tell us? We're not going to always understand. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I believe it's going to do it. He told Daniel, Daniel, you want to know a little too much. You will never know how many hairs on the, on, on, the, on the man's head. You never not know, know all the this. Daniel was so inquisitive, he said, Daniel, I tell you what, just close the book. Just close the book. You know. So that telling us as we continue, Father, to just believe. And you know, most Christians that are coming to the Lord that when we open the door of, of the church, what is what is what do you think that the one thing that drives them down to come and give and give their hand that, to come and join the church what is for some people? And think about it when uh, you can't you came down. Hmm? Led by the Spirit. The Spirit of what? The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. Okay, the Spirit of God. That He will do what? Change your life? Change your life. That you want to be changed? That's right. It was not. Yeah. I remember my testimony. I said, Well, one day I just realized that my arm was too short to box with the heart. You know, uh, think about your time when you came down and think about how it was um, refreshing. It was um, a joy. You know what I mean? I know I feel feel, feel good. It seemed like that was a uh, release. You know what I mean? That I came down and you know, joined and joined whatever. So I just want to take you back as you reflect no matter what you, what, where you, where you were and how you had a release. You know what I mean? That uh, at, um, that you gave your life to Christ and, mm -hmm. and then once you gave it to Christ tell them, I, I forgot about you then once you gave it to Christ then you start hearing all the negativity you said wait a minute I, I just came down and gave, gave me a right hand y'all prayed for me whatever now you're going to tell me about something I don't want to hear hear about it you want to hear it you're going to tell me about all the hell raised behind that same church all this and that and whatever but then, then you come to Bible so you say you stay focused you stay focused, and you let all the other stuff, you know what I mean, just go away because it's going to creep in there. You know what I mean? And it's going to creep in there when you least know it, and most of the time when you don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? you got to be strong enough to say, not today. Not today. Go ahead, Jim. She met me in front of the, the, the pond where the, the pop line is, a bunch of uh, 
cars, and she asked me, she's like, would you like to give your life to Christ? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, right away. And then she did the sinner's prayer with me, and then right there and then, my life changed. I got came saved right there and then, and then she invited me to go to church, to her church that she was going to, and I went there like, that first Sunday, and then I started going. And then, I, I don't forget this, when, when, when you keep hearing, when you hear the first, when you first got saved, being born again, being bathed in Christ, it's like a huge joy. It's like I'm singing songs of God, being happy all the time. Every day. It's like everyone's saying, why are you so happy? I was like, I got saved. I'm born again. I, God's, God's love is in me. God's joy is in me. And that's how they get to hear it. You got to tell people. If you don't tell people, how are you supposed to know? How you Amen. Say, if you don't show them, how are they supposed to know you also? That's my testimony. Amen. Thank you very much. Number nine, God's purpose of grace. Do we all understand what grace is? He's given us what? That grace that we what don't? Amen. But what else comes with grace? I call it the GM. Mercy. Mercy. <laughs> God for mercy. Somebody read that. God's purpose of grace. Scriptures teach that election and the eternal purpose of God, according to which He graciously regenerates, sanctifies, and saves sinners, that being perfectly consistent with the free agency of man, it comprehends all the means in connection with the end that it is in which glor glorious display of God's sovereign goodness, being infinitely free, wise, holy, and unchangeable, that is utterly excludes boasting of Humility, love, prayer, praise, trust in God, active imitation of his free mercy, that it encourages the use of means in the highest degree, that it may be ascertained by it, affects in all who truly believe in, God, in the gospel, that it is the foundation of Christian assurance, and that to ascertain it with regard to ourselves and means deserves the utmost diligence. Anybody want to speak on that? Being infinitely free, wise, holy, and unchangeable. That it utterly excludes boasting and promotes what? Humility, love, prayer, praise, trust in God, and activate imitation of his what? Free mercy that it encourages the use of means in the highest degree that it may be a certain and that it may be ascertained by its effect in all who truly believe the G O S P E L who truly believe believe a humble child should taste the what? Should taste the grace. Humility, being being humble. We had a uh, in Sunday school, and uh, I was surprised that some of the adult raised their hand and we was talking about the uh, he came not to change the law but to fulfill the law. And Jesus was talking on the Sermon on the Mount, and he was telling the, the people of the interpretation of the Pharisees. He was just telling them the interpretation of the law. And uh, I asked all the young people, and you know, and then that one little dog raised their hand too. What they said when how many of us talk when somebody hits you, you supposed to do what? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? I know. But why you will ask? Why you can't? Ask, why you just come ask the questions? Did you know? Why you I agree. I agree. I was shocked. <laughs> what do you say? Do you hit them back? Most people hit them back. back. Yeah. But you would not automatically just hit them, but you'd ask them why you hit me. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. 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 So the grill, you going like no? No, it's reaction. It's reaction. It's reaction. Okay. So the grill said it's a uh, reaction. And some don't. 
some people don't because they have growth so and they have self control. Self control, okay. And they won't. And instead of asking questions, they call nine one one. So they don't end up killing that person. Yeah, you're right. And now, you know, there's a big push going on now, and it's, it's something special in the black community that we have to learn to, uh, we are learning to recognize mental illness. Amen. Because we don't, some of us don't think it's real, <laughs> but we can have it in, the, in so many ways. Child, I ain't no wrong with you. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and uh, just suck it up and go about your business. And, but I, but I, but I'm hurting, and I don't know who to turn to. You know what I mean? I'm still grieving over over Mama. She been dead ten years ago, but I, I'm still feeling a loss. And uh, a lot of us, we have to don't be ashamed to seek help. You know, and I just said that to pick it back off of what Sister Rivers said, you know what I mean? You call 911, you got to be very careful. Even I thought about the mental aspect of it. You know what I mean? Somebody come up to you and, excuse me? <laughs> you know what I mean? And you you have people that will, that will, uh, that will do that, you know what I mean? And, uh, and that, you know, back in the days, they had to put the, what it said? Don't violate my space. Ooh. Get out of my space. This is it. You know what I mean? Oh, you know. Or either, but old school, talk to the hand. Cause <laughs> <I don't listen. laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. But that is, you know, if you look at it, I'm, I'm being funny, but I'm saying, but that shows our growth by being humble. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, before they say, he who walked away today, he a little to fight another day. You still talk about fighting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Fight uh, another day. You know what I mean? Or they say, it, come back. yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to forgive you today. Everybody here. I'm going to let you know. I ain't going to know. Forget it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let it go. We say we're teaching them to steal, for, steal forgiveness. Whatever. How, much, what, how many times will we forgive our brothers? Seven times. Any question? All right. X mean 10. Sanctification. I'm going to read that one. I think we might stop at that. talk about that for a while, then we're going to close out on that. Sanctification, and the there's a total of 18, but you all can read them and you know what they are in the back of your uh, back of our hymn book. We believe that the scripture teaches that sanctification is the process by which according to the will of God. And, you, and we can talk about, have a whole lesson on that. <laughs> The will of God. It's God's will. Why had to take my mama? Why did it take my sister? Why did we have to? It's God's will. Then we try to say, okay, he needed an angel up in heaven. He needed somebody to go to You know what I mean? It's God's will. And once we understand that it's God's will. And we have to, um, and then they say, well, why do you let bad things happen to good people and, and good people do bad things and whatever, you know, and he is the creator, a 
of all creation. And it's his will. And we are to give sanctification for that, to understand that we are made partakers of what? His holiness. God's will. You understand what I'm trying to say? Thank you, thank you. That's what come out of my next word. God's will will be done. We have to just mind too. We have to mind of Christ. What's that? We have to mind of Christ. Yes, sir. All his holiness. And once we understand that, you know what I mean? And then you come with the question, then you come with that, who am I to question God? Well, you know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't question. I, I have a hard time dealing with that when you say you don't question God. Oh, I'm serving a God. I understand his will. Uh, I got his faith. I obey him or whatever. And I can ask him a question. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I, thank you. Say it. Yes, you can. I can ask him a question. Then if I be still enough, he's going to give me an answer. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's going to give me an answer. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you tell me that I can't question God, well, wait a minute. He's no totality. He's praying. Thank you. Say it. When we pray for you, we have communication with you. They did say when we pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. So he said, Teach us to pray. Teach us to talk with him. Talk with him. So these are kind of, I call them old fogism, uh, not fogism, but when you, don't, when you don't know, you just don't know. But as you can continue to study the word of truth, you know what I mean? You're saying that it's, it is God's will, it's good to uh, understand. You know what I mean? Because before we. Say what? We are growing in grace. We are growing in grace. I like that. And before, a lot of us were saying what we heard. Amen. Amen. That's right. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? That's what they heard, that's what they, they knew. But we didn't know it for ourselves, but because Grandma said it, that was, that was it. it. But now we, he has given us the knowledge and that we can read and study for ourselves. And that's why I tell people a lot of times you may be in a discussion and you may not even understand. On Sundays there might be something you don't understand. But it's a study to show yourself a proof. That's right. We gotta study for ourselves. That's right. You know we expect other people to give us what we need when the word is all we need. Exactly. It's because and, and you go to Say what now? It's according how you go to the Lord and question God also. That's right. So humbly, yes. the kids, if you, you know, if you know you there's a way anger. that you need to approach it to, yes. you know what I mean. If you go with anger, you ain't going to get nothing. You ain't going to get nothing. Out. What do you say now? You won't get anything. You won't get nothing. Right. You won't get something. No, you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that part. Yeah, that part. Yeah. And, and, you know, and sometimes, you know, what we're talking about right here, there's something that if you don't come in the right way, how many it's time to, you know what I mean? Somebody said, uh, I ain't got no breakthrough. That's when you really start getting, why aren't you getting a uh, breakthrough? But why can't you get a breakthrough? Hmm? What do you think you can? You, what do you, what you, you think know, you can? I say, you, if the way you go to the Lord, if you go to the Lord with anger and, well, uh, uh, how can I say, in a nasty way, I'm quite sure that's not the way you go. Or you don't have true re repentance, you know what I mean? And you, you can't, can't get a breakthrough. Because how many times when we were out in the world, we done had that, um, Bucking gin, gin. Oh, Whatever happened. We, 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 we had these, Lord, this would be my last drink. And you sold me up for, over from, from this, whatever. You done went to the Lord, you done lied to the Lord, because next week you're going to another party and you drink it again. Why are you wasting his time when you know that you are in true repentance of what you just said? So don't, what mama and grandma said, don't play with him. Don't play with it. Reverend Price said something. He was counting the husband and wife, and he was saying that uh, that the husband said, "We prayed together, 
and, and, and we just can't seem to get no breakthrough in here. And, and, and Reverend Christ said, I can't seem to get no breakthrough either. I'm trying to, trying to find out what's wrong with it. So, you know, my wife is stuck there. She said, she said, what do you guys say? He said, well, I've been praying or whatever. I've been praying and been praying. And then wife finally said, that Negro ain't talking to me in the last five weeks or whatever. Now you're talking about we had prayer. <laughs> and he said, Brother Christ said, okay, now we know. You're not on the same one before. Yeah, you're not praying for the same thing. You're not praying, praying for forgiveness. And you're praying your marriage class, right? You have to be on one accord. You know what I mean? You are one. You know? So while you're praying for a one thing, you're praying for another. You know what I mean? And God said, okay. Come back to me when y'all get it together. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it. I get that, I get that statement mm -hmm. about angry. Yes. About being angry, angry with God and going to him. Angry. angry. I was angry talking to God when I went to him yeah. when my dad died. Angry. Angry. I was hot with him. Mm -hmm. Bothered. I didn't want nothing to do with him. That's exactly what I told him. Nothing to do with you. How dare you do that? How dare you do this to my family? How dare you do this to my mother? How dare you do this? And once I got past that, past that, past that, yes, got into that grief because I was in grief. Grief, yeah, oh yeah. I was in grief, and he allowed me to stay in that grief. Yes. He allowed me to stay there. Yes, stay right there. He allowed me, allowed to, stay me to stay right, right there. there. Yeah. Stay, stay. I need you to stay right there because yeah. I'm not. I ain't going nowhere. Yes, I'm allowed you to sit right there right. because I ain't never leave you. Never will forsake you. So while you going through this, I will answer you after you get through this and come back to me. Okay, God, let me try this one more time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. God, I am crying out to you. Help me. Please understand why I am feeling like this. In the flesh. Yeah. He's working on you at that point. It was all me. Amen. It didn't have anything, anything to, to do. do with the God that I served. Sir. He was awesome enough to allow my God to be healed. Amen. Not the way I wanted him to. He allowed my dad to be healed from this world. Amen. From sickness, from pain, from Amen. everything in this world that I was so selfish enough not to see past. And once I got past that, then I got my answer. Like Deacon Thomas said, oh, you can go to him. Go ahead. Keep, keep going to him. Hey, keep going doing? to him in that same attitude. Keep yeah, going right. to him. That's right. But it was That's me he Come was from. working on. You, you, you understand you what you're saying? Attitude, but he chose who was the boss. You understand what you're saying? <laughs> you okay. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> You did? Yes, I did. And guess what? He led me to that scripture where the mother, the father brought the child to the mother. And the mother, you know, the child was dying. Yes, yes. And the mother let the child. You know, right then and there, my mom was a godly woman. So mm -hmm. he had to realize she had peace. Amen. Mm -hmm. She died with a smile on her face. Yes. She's at peace. We got to find the peace. Yes. And God told me right then and there. Let go and let God and listen to the Holy Spirit and let His will be done on earth as it is in Him. We all hurt. We all going to hurt. And you, Sister Dallas, see more than anything. People come in and 
and uh, you know what I mean? You have to try to find the confident word and stuff, but until they let it out or whatever, you can just mm -hmm. sit there and sit, just let it out, the greed and stuff. Because but most of them do say they. What do you say? Most of them do when they're angry, they say they're being, being selfish. Mm -hmm. And back to the middle. You said being selfish? They oh, said they're being selfish. selfish. Yeah. Their loved ones, when they still want their loved ones to live on, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. all the sickness. And I, you know, like, okay, it's kind of selfish, and I include myself when I'm yeah. talking to them because these people are sick. Mm -hmm. They are hurting. Yes. They're in deep hurt. Yes. And you're still living. You can walk around with some yeah. of them just laying there. Yeah. So why would you want them? And I know it's your family, but why would you want them to linger on and be in that and pain? Pain. pain? And back to the mental health, we do have to look at mental health. We have to look at it more now than ever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we do. Two young ladies, they went to their death because their mom, their mom left them, and they just couldn't live without their mom. They turned to drugs and they died alone because they were found in abandoned houses, home alone, dead. But talking to family members, they just couldn't take that their mom left them. They was young, like the United States, they was young when their mom left. And they just felt like nobody treated them like their mom. Their mom but by their mom dying, that could have brought out with their mental health. You know, we just don't know. And I, I have to tell my mom, because she loves to say little kids, uh, they just bad. No, it ain't just bad, like y'all said it back in the day. It right. Ain't yeah, it, ain't, it ain't that. You're right. It's real. It's real. Yeah. It's very real. Yeah. It's, you, know, you know, we can always find out, like I said, it's very real, but we can always find out, find something to say that we can try to, I guess, not tell them to go seek mental uh, Down help. Dead. Sometimes help or whatever. Yeah. And uh, the men, we are, we really get it. Mm -hmm. Man up, man up, yeah. man up. I ain't no man up. That hurt. <laughs> <I'm hurting. laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's it. I was yes. Say just like last week, it was a guy um, at Born Plant Hospital, y'all probably heard. Uh -huh. They killed this yeah. right in the parking lot. Parking lot? Yeah. 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 Through the jerk. Through the jerk. Emergency room. In the battle. Exactly. In the front. In the valet yeah, parking lot. And, and, like and gave his license to the guy. And ah. said, they'll know, this will let them know who I am. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, because I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Went in the parking lot and killed himself. That was last week. That was last week, yeah. I think, too, because what we talk in the different, um, with black women, we sometimes, too, um, mix up failure and they're actually really mental illness. Right. Henderson had, uh, she got some mental illness or whatever. When, when all of the stars start seeking mental health, they, 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 you start to say, well, I can go get some mental health. Mm -hmm. Well, I think my life is just important as the mental health, as exactly. those stars. Yeah. You know what I mean? My mental health. So let us do that, okay? You all have been, been very wonderful. Thank you for allowing me to, to go over this. The Lord placed it on my heart because I didn't know what I was going to teach it, but I told Dick and Ella, uh, you know what I mean? Is anybody coming? And Sister River said, well, it ain't been canceled. We're still going to have it. And I'm saying, like, and? <laughs> I'm it, but, you but, did a great um, job. Uh, uh, so much. I love you all. But what I like most of all is that we share knowledge and love with one another. Because you don't know how, how this is good therapy for all of us. That you can just come here, breathe, discuss. You know what I mean? And I think it, it, it makes us a, a, a better person that we can continue just to uh, talk to one another. You know what I mean? I just and, think learn to, and learn to. And learn to. Uh, 
talking to each other. Yes. You don't know what people are going through. You know, we need to be encouraging, not looking at the, oh, that child, yeah, that's the baddest child in the world. Oh, God, that child may just need somebody to talk to. I go, I, I um, do school projects, and I go right over there net on their day. Some days when I get off, I just go to the center and, you know, hold some of the kids that's having these problems. I said, now when I come back, I don't want to say this going on. I said, could I be up and give you a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> and they just laugh. <laughs> but, and, and now I can see one little boy, he was having a really, really bad day. And I hadn't seen him since he was a baby boy. Now every morning before we go in, I say, good morning. He said, good morning. I said, you have a good day. He said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> But, you know, just because it's not in our court, right. it's happening. Yes, it is. And we need to be helpers of each other. Yes. And not, not being hypocritical and criticizing other people. We all if we part can't of, say something nice, my mama just said Don't say, say, nothing, say nothing, at nothing at all. We're all Ooh. part of the community. Yeah. We're all part of the community. And in the community, we help one another. We've been doing it for years. We just got away from it. Mm -hmm. My mama said, can she borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> She'll pay you back when you get back, whatever, you know what I mean? No, we, we, we've been doing it for years. Share one another, what we had. Child, what's wrong, what's wrong with him? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with him. Just give him so-and-so, and so he'll be all right, whatever. Just share with one another. We need to get, get back, because we all want to know. Let us stand to be dismissed. Amen. The doors of the church are open. You can come by letter, Christian experience, or county for baptism. But the most important thing that you come. The doors of St. Matthew's are Amen. never closed. As we stay here at St. Matthew's, as our, the signs say exit, we exit to serve. We're here to try to love on one another. As the doctor say, we're not a perfect church. We're here to serve with imperfect people. What I can always say that we continue to just to love on one another. Yes, we have an our problem. I hear some things I want that I don't want to hear or whatever, but I'm saying through it all at the end of the day, let us keep loving on one another. Amen. Let's keep caring for one another. What's they still today? Don't know when. Don't know where, but I know you But I know that I know that I know that I know that I know. <laughs> we'll fix it. And we're gonna ask uh Deacon Thomas and we'll close us out. And those have an offer you can bring up. Let's pray. Tell them, Father, we come before you with thanksgiving. We thank you so much for allowing us to spend some time together, Father. Yes, we Lord. Ask, we, we ask, Father, that you keep us all connected, Father, that you bless us one and all, Father, that you keep us safe, Father, as we travel home, Father. Father, we ask that you watch over each of us, Father, that you keep our family safe. Yes, that you Lord. keep our church safe. We pray, Father, for our community. We pray for those who can't help themselves, Father. Those may be yes, sick Lord. Lord. Those may be locked behind prison walls. Father, we ask that you take care of any bereaved families, Father. You send out a word of encouragement so they know, Father, that you're still there, Father. That you're God. Yes, you're God. Lord. Yes, Father. Lord. And Father, we ask, Father, that when we come to the end of our journey, now, Lord. Father, we ask that you accept us all without now, the loss of one. Yes. In your daughter's son, Jesus' name we pray. And let's call these blessings. Amen.